This is an aging zone, a location where you can literally age up your pet by being AFK. AFK standing for away from keyboard. Teleport to the aging zone to age up your pet. You won't log out while in this room. That sounds insane. This means I could get a pet that I am trying to go and age up to make a Neon. For example, this Cerberus. I would go and equip it in the game and it will actually get tasks done and age it up while I do absolutely nothing. That might sound like it defeats the whole point of playing Adopt Me if you could just simply go and be AFK and age up your pets. Well, it does sound very interesting. And this feature is only available to specific people in certain locations. It's actually extremely limited how many locations this is, but this actually only came out yesterday. So the game released yesterday, and as you can see, it's very limited. Only 6,000 players were able to join at once. And considering how many people can play Adopt Me, 6,000 is not really that high, with a total visit count of 33,000, compared to Adopt Me having 35,428,500,000 visits. Quite a big difference. So let me tell you a bit more about why this is good, how it works, and why it's not gonna ruin the game, because I'm sure a bunch of you guys are concerned about that part. So if you're one of the lucky people who were able to go and join the server, only available in specific countries, then what you will see when you enter the portal is this. Stay in the aging zone to age up your pet. You won't log out while in this room. Now, what that means is that if you play Adopt Me or any Roblox game and you don't move, if you don't do it within 15 minutes, you'll get a disconnect button saying, you were AFK, we've disconnected you from the game for not playing. This is Roblox's way of trying to save storage and it's just kind of what they have always done. So if you ever see this message, well, this means you can infinitely age up your pet, which is actually a genius move from Adopt Me, as it means people can go and do this while they are asleep without any auto clickers or any thing that might be sketchy. So say for example I want to age up the Cerberus, I could do it while I am sleeping and I don't need to press a button. And whose benefit is this? Well me, I'm aging up a pet and also adopt me because they're getting a player and players means money and uh, that's why they're obviously doing this. But let me show you what else is in the room. So we have access to this backpack and by the way credit goes to the username called Adopt Me Leaks, and uh, they managed to go and get this in their game. As you can see at the top, it says teleporting in 15 minutes. So there is a countdown to go and reset your game. Without that countdown, then simply Roblox would just disconnect you. Basically, what they're doing is forcing you to close the game and reopening it for you. I'm not really sure how Roblox Adopt Me has managed that, but that is what it does. At the top, we can see some stars. So there's a little star here, a star here, a star here, and then a little tick. Honestly, I'm not fully sure the logistics of how this works. As for what else is in this room, it's very small. There is a chat box, um, which is kind of pointless if everyone here is going to be AFK. Like, what's the point? And um, a shadow dragon rabbit definitely not a shadow dragon. The same person posted some more pictures of what is inside. It's kind of just the Adopt Me sky but made out of weird cubes in the same way that the practice dog looks. And there's also a little swimming pool. Honestly this is such a random thing. Plus there is this large button that says exit AFK. What this will do is will take you directly back into Adopt Me. The same Twitter user actually uploaded a video showing you what happens in the teleportation countdown. So let's go and check out what happens when it reaches zero. I'm honestly intrigued. Let's go and see. So it says teleporting. You are currently in an Adopt Me AFK server and then it teleports you and brings you back into aging zone AFK made by Uplift Games, which um, is the creators of Adopt Me. This is official. This isn't fake and I spoke to Adopt Me themselves, and they confirmed that this is real, it's not some type of like scam game, this is a genuine real update. And once you rejoin, 
It um it says teleporting in 16 minutes, which is interesting. But as we can see, there is this star process. Let me explain a little bit more how this works. Every single five minutes that you spend in this game, your pet gets one task, okay? One task is done every five minutes. It doesn't level up your pet a whole, it levels your pet up by one task. And in case you don't know how many tasks a pet needs to go and age it up fully, let's say for example you have a legendary that you want to be full grown. So say we're starting from newborn and we want to make a full grown legendary, you need 275 tasks. That is a lot of tasks. And if we get 275 times 5 minutes, it would take you 1,375 minutes to go and make it from newborn to full grown. And if you want a bit of a better understanding of what that is in hours, it would take you 22.9 hours for your pet to go and go from newborn to full grown as a legendary. So if you leave your device running for 22 hours in Adopt Me in the AFK game, then your pet will literally go from a newborn into a full grown if it's legendary. For comparison, if you have a common pet and you want that to become full grown, that will take you 56 tasks. And if we times that by five and then divide it by hours, it would take you 4.6 hours to have a common pet turn into a full grown pet. So I originally saw this release via a post in the Adopt Me Discord chat made for YouTubers and staff members. And they said, this is a cool feature, is it A-B testing? So Jesse replied, going and giving me a little bit of further information about what this actually is. Jesse replied saying, yeah, not an official release though, so suspect it's an engineer testing a new idea. Then he says a bunch of other things about them going and testing stuff and it's not a global release. So the aging zone is simply a test by the engineer. Honestly, I don't know what that means, but I want to find this engineer and make them implement it right now. So having a pet go from newborn to full grown in 22 hours realistically doesn't sound like it's going to break the game at all. I've also heard that apparently you don't get bucks by being AFK. All it simply does is age up your pet. So from that standpoint, yeah, you're not getting bucks. All you're doing is aging up a pet. And if you realistically wanted to go and age up your pets and adopt me, you could simply just go and do that quite quickly by playing the game. For example, I've got one, two, three, four, five tasks, and I can do that a lot faster and also earn myself bugs by going and doing it in game compared to being in an AFK game. But obviously the AFK game is more targeted towards people who are just simply AFK, say you go outside, say you're having lunch and people wanna leave their devices running. Obviously it does cost electricity to leave your devices running and I'm pretty sure you won't be earning the bucks from this. So it's up to you if you guys think this is a good idea or not. I'm not actually sure how many people have got this feature, but I also spoke to Adopt Me and they said they're increasing the amount of tasks we get. So you see that I just had five tasks and one orange task. Well, Adopt Me is supposedly going and implementing a feature where we get pretty much double the tasks soon. Maybe it's in correlation to them going and doing that. That also means we're gonna be able to get bugs faster, apart from the bugs limit, which is annoying. And we're actually gonna be able to go and age up pets faster in the game, which is definitely an interesting concept and uh, gonna be pretty fun. So I'm excited that we're gonna be able to go and do this. Let me know if you have this trading feature. It's gonna be pretty similar to how the trading service feature came out. I'm not sure if many of you guys know about the trade servers update, which unfortunately they decided to stop testing. So there is a chance that this feature might not ever actually come into the game. But if it's available in your country, then please do let me know in the comments as I'm curious how many people can actually go and play this. To see me trade from an egg to a mega neon bat dragon, you should check out this video right here. Click here right now to go and watch the video. I dare you to.